Building the world's biggest physics experiment has required researchers, including groups at Rutgers and Princeton, to hone a whole new way of doing science. Local contributors to the Large Hadron Collider say being on an international team of thousands is challenging, but can also pay dividends here at home. Science and technology correspondent Patrick Regan reports. After a promising start in September, the Large Hadron Collider, an immensely complex machine whose underground home is miles across, had to be shut down for a few months. But that hasn't stopped the research teams that helped to create it. At Rutgers, for example, both hardware upgrades and strategies for data analysis are in the works, all focused on a huge detector called the Compact Muon Solenoid, or CMS. And as large as this group may seem, its partners number in the thousands. Not everyone likes to work in that type of environment where there are 3,000 people working on the same thing. Uh, there's a lot of, um, you know, bureaucracy, a lot of meetings that take place, things that we used to just be able to sit in our office and talk to a few people and do. Now you have to have, you know, uh, televideo meetings across the ocean to discuss things with hundreds of people. The key, some say, has been a tight focus on smaller elements of the project. That can mean tiny detectors at the heart of the giant CMS or theoretical predictions about what might be seen or a combination. And so uh, a small number of people can work on all aspects of this uh, detector, doing software, doing electronics, uh, doing data analysis. And so we can involve undergraduates, graduate students, uh, um, and everybody gets a chance to, to, to delve into the, the inside of this detector and, and make it work. We're working hard now with the experimentalists um, to try to figure out exactly what we might see at the LHC. And so these huge experimental groups at the LHC now are divided up into subgroups, and each subgroup looks for sort of a different type of signature uh, for what might, might, what might come out of the experiment. A very famous thing that we're looking for that people will have read about is the so-called Higgs boson. And one way that we might find it is that uh, if it has certain properties, it may once it's produced, decay essentially immediately into two particles of light called photons. And those photons would then be detected in a collision, and that would be a signal that we had made a Higgs boson. The only problem is there are a hundred different ways to make two photons in one collision. That kind of problem could keep anybody busy until the collider turns on next spring. Patrick Regan, NJN News, Piscataway.